if you look in the life of the Messenger of Allah, he gave people hope. He made them feel special. There was a woman who lived in Medina. She was of African origin. And you know what she would do? You know what her duty was? Is that she would clean the masjid. That was her only duty was to clean the masjid. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw that this woman had disappeared for a number of days. She's not around. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked the Sahaba Radiallahu Anhu, he said, where is that woman who generally cleans the masjid? But I haven't seen her for many days. So the Sahaba Radiallahu Anhu said, oh Messenger of Allah, she passed away last night and we buried her in Jannah al-Baqi. So the Messenger of Allah said, why didn't you tell me? So they said, oh Messenger of Allah, she passed away we shrouded her, gave her a bath, and we buried her. Generally, if you came from African origin and you lived around that part of the world, you were actually generally came from slave background. And the narration mentions, it was as though they didn't regard her as that important. Why? Because she wasn't from the Muhajirun. She wasn't from the Ansar. She didn't give big mashwaras. She didn't give big donations. What did she do? She just cleaned the masjid. And her background wasn't of a high status. She wasn't a Qurshi. So often, Wallahi, when I go to the Haram, I always remember this story. And I stand in the Haram and I envisage this. How the Prophet Wasallam said, where is her grave? So he stood up from the masjid and he walked toward Jannah al-Baqi. And he stood on her grave. And he prayed the Janazah Salah on her grave. I know nobody else. Beside this woman that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood on her grave after she was buried and prayed her Janazah Salah. Beside this woman who cleaned the masjid. Why? Because the Messenger of Allah wanted to send you and I a message that this deed is a deed of hope. 